Oh, that's a nice brownie. Ooh. Oh, yes. So winter's here. It's uh, it's finally here. It's like minus 10, 15s at night. I'm still chasing that elusive master brown trout. I've been chasing it probably all year last year. I probably went out to Patterson maybe 15, 20 times, if not more. It's seeming a lot harder than what I thought it was gonna be. So um, I caught three fish at 50 centimeters, which is like 19.685 inches, um, almost quarter inch off. So um, time to get ready here, time for something to eat, make a coffee and uh, let's get moving here. Let's boogie. Stock trout, here we come, baby. Oh. Sunfire problems. Gonna have to get some pump up tunes going, I reckon. That was probably the coldest crap I've ever taken, but gotta do what you gotta do in the big city, I suppose. I did fish this spot this summer in the float tube and I actually got onto shore and was casting some spoons. There's a nice little bit of gravel sort of base there. It's probably about three or four foot, which is ideal uh, for what I'm after today. Up against the reeds. Jaw jacker o'clock. I find these jaw jackers just absolute game changers when it comes to trout fishing. So one bit of advice, when you tie your knots, for this, I'd use a polymer knot. If you use like a normal uni knot, your, your stuff will tend to sit like that and you'll lose more hook sets. So the polymer knot definitely is a better option. You can see how that's nice and straight. You want it to sit like that in the water. So when the trout comes, grabs it, it goes straight up through the mouth. You don't want it sitting like this. Uh, this rod here, it's a medium rod. I'm going to mediums with my jaw jackers so I can get a stronger hook set compared to the lights. I think that's gonna be a bit of a difference go too light you don't get a good hook set so the old Berkeley atomic tube jig old faithful friend of mine with the old crappy buster that's why I love these tube jigs are probably one of my favorites because you can hide some scent in them fairly organized for once weird bring on trout had no hits it's almost 11 o'clock been out for two and a half hours, should have at least had something going on. I am debating packing up and heading back to where I come on at the boat launch. You do get a lot of fish over that side there. Let's uh, stop dilly dallying and uh, we'll pack up quickly and head over. Whew. I'm so unfit right now. Groins are just burning. I'm gonna drill a shitload of holes here and I'm probably gonna leave one jaw jacket going and I'm probably gonna get super active and jig with the other rod. I'm trying to think where that dock is on this side here. Catch them right here. I've seen one lady just catch heaps right there. Like three and like five casts. I'm gonna be using the atomic tube jig. Looks like the boys over there have got one. Yeah. Taking the photo. <laughs> good lads, good. I can tell you where it's not happening. Here. Yeah. Sometimes it's just not meant to be. Looks like you're it, GoPro. Well. Watch your jacket. Watch your jacket. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. How good's my track? How good's my track? Fish on. Oh my god. Had to bust the top. The ice just was frozen over. Just as I was leaving, packing up, got 
a good hook set on him by the feel of it. She's right at the top here. Right at the top. Oh, oh, it's a nice brownie. Right under me. This is my chance. Been thinking about this for a couple of weeks now. I'm starting to get a bit disheartened that maybe this opportunity wouldn't come. I'm so glad he stayed pinned when that jaw jacker went off. That medium rod really helped, I think. Off the eyes. I kind of said there's a bit of gravel here and the brownies do like it here. So that's why I kind of left my jaw jacket here. I don't want to horse him. He's still running. Wow, this is wild. I'm going to have to get my arm down there. Yes, that's my master brown. Look at that. That is just an awesome fish. Yoo -hoo -hoo! All right, I need to do some work here quickly. Well, there we have it, folks. My first master brownie at 21 inches. Beautiful fish. Oh. Thanks for the fight, bud. Enjoyed every second of it. Let's go, buddy. There he goes. Yes, it happened. It happened first day on the ice. No other fish. One master brown trout at 21 inches. I was just packing up and uh, emptying up my cooler there that I had the fish in. And you can kind of see what sort of forage they're after. Trail of destruction. Flasher, drill, rod, straw jacker. It's all happening. Thanks for bashing bottom with Benny. We'll see you next time, eh?